Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With PowerPoint, you can control animation for all the objects on the slide. You can use PowerPoint's preset animation if you're using 2097, because in 2097, the two ways that PowerPoint allows you to control animation is through the use of the Animation Effects toolbar or by using the Slideshow command on the menu bar. The Animation Effects toolbar you can access by clicking the Animation Effects button, which is on the Formatting toolbar, and it's the button that looks like a little star. In the Animation Effects toolbar, what you do is you select the object which you would like to animate, and then click on the Animation Effect which you would like to apply. It'll assign it a number in the Animation Order drop-down, and that's the order that the animation will occur when you actually move to that slide. So in this case, this would be the first object to be animated. You can select other objects, and then continue to animate them as well by just simply clicking on the effect and noting in which order they appear. Note that you can take an object that is selected and change its animation order. So this selected object could be the first thing that animates. Then this one could be number two, and then perhaps the text box could be number three. You can also apply a preset animation instead of using the Animation Effects toolbar by simply selecting an item, choosing Slideshow Preset Animation, and then choosing which one of the effects you'd like to use. You can then view it in Slideshow View to see the animation applied. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.